guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm just going to be doing um a full face of makeup testing out new products my full face is not with new products but it's all the products that i did in my previous makeup haul video so if you haven't seen that video go check it out it will be down in the description box also so yeah i just want to play around in this makeup to see like i'm not even gonna say if it was worth the money because it was very inexpensive so yeah i just want to see how it holds up so if you would like to see how i got this look then please just keep on watching but i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and then I am going to be using this whole set of 25 brushes that I had told you that I forgot. So I'm going to go ahead and start out by doing my brows. And the brush set do have a spoolie in it. So that's plus. That is a plus. Oh, Jesus. This shit just broke. So we're gonna try it again. This shit better not break on me again. I do not have time. I gotta go to work soon. It's kind of rough to sharpen. It is kind of rough, honey. Y'all don't have time for this thing to keep breaking on me. So you need to get it together. But the color is nice. It's cut. So this is a note for me already because it keeps breaking. Like who wanna try to do their brows the whole time while their pencil is breaking? So I'm not even sharpening it to a point because the point keeps breaking off. Stupid. I'm gonna clean it up with that new concealer that I got by She. It's kind of it remind me of the LA Girl Pro Concealer, as I stated in the previous video. If you watch the makeup haul video, so I won't be going super super into detail about the names of the products and stuff because I did mention it in the other video. If you watch my videos, I will link it down below. So I'm using a flat brush out of that same collection of brushes. Well, you'll know it's the same collection of brushes because of the color. All of those new brushes I have are purple. I like this brush so far. It's very hard for me to find the perfect flat brush. This ain't the perfect flat brush, but I like this brush so far. This concealer is a little bit more sheer than LA Girl Pro Concealer though. So definitely a little bit more sheer. Like it's not as thick and full as the LA Girl. It's so sad because I'm actually gonna put this under my eyes. And I need this makeup look to look good because I'm wearing this shit to work. I am wearing it to work. So I ain't feeling this brush right here. I'm not feeling it for what I want to use it for. So let me, let me take that back. Maybe if I try using it for something else, it'll work out better. For some reason, my brow hair is gonna be all over the place today. I'm annoyed, you guys, cause I got like a um a razor bump right up under my brow bone, and you know, dummy me decided to um pick at it, and now I see that it's turning black, and I'm very, very, very particular about my face. Like my face. It's like one of my pride and joys. So I don't like if I get black spots on it or all of that. Oh, y'all haven't seen, y'all seen my teeth in my vlog. I got my braces off for you guys who don't know. 
So I'm all done. No more gap. I think I'm gonna do a full video all about like an updated video all about braces. Cause when I did the first one, it was like I'm, I was at the beginning stage of my braces a couple of months in. So I feel like I got a lot more to say now. Okay, so I'm gonna take that same concealer and then put it on my lid. And I'm gonna do my eye start on my eyes. I'm definitely gonna try to do an eye look with this palette that I got. This new palette that I got. Yeah, this damn concealer is very sheer. Y'all, I'm a super paranoid person when I'm here by myself. Like, every little noise, my dumb ass be going to investigate it because this damn guinea pig is a little crazy. Yes, we have a guinea pig now, unfortunately. So I'm gonna use this sponge. It is by Beauty Creation. It looks like they tried to do a little beauty blender packaging. But yeah, I'm gonna use that sponge to blend all of that out. But yeah, we have a guinea pig, and sometimes maybe making crazy noises, but I'd be paranoid because we're at work during the day. So I'd be having to make sure that nobody trying to do no suspicious shit while I'm while they think I'm at work. And I always say that because we live, we live in a really nice neighborhood, don't get me wrong. But I feel like they placed our neighborhood in a very, very low income area where we have a lot of homeless people walking around. Like, cause it's like our neighborhood. And then when you get on the outside of our neighborhood, it's like that area or whatever. So there's like a lot of homeless people walking around. Sometimes they navigate their way over to our neighborhood, be acting all real suspicious. It has been breaking up before in the past. So it's just like very, very scary. Cause it's like, yeah, we have protection to protect ourselves, but who wanna have to hurt somebody all because they wanna be like stupid and breaking into somebody's house. I don't wanna have to do that. I don't wanna, I don't wanna have that on my conscience. Conscience, conscience. <laughs> okay, so I am taking this Beauty Creations Elsa palette. Mm -hmm. And y'all already know what color I'm taking. This burnt orange color right here. And I'm putting that in my crease because I always use burnt orange in my crease. I'm not, the uh, brush set that I do have, I just realized they don't really have any brushes in there to do your eyeshadow with, at least your crease. They don't have anything. So yeah, you just keep blending that orange back and forth in your crease. Well, that's what I'm doing. But a lot of, like basically, I'm not like a makeup artist or know much about makeup, but I have learned like, it's all about blending. Like you gotta work, work your way up to the color that you want. Like if you want blue eyeshadow, do not just go straight up and put blue eyeshadow on your lids, cause that's gonna look a hot mess, and it, it it just not. It's just gonna look weird. It's gonna look very weird. So it's best to not do that. So let's say if you want a blue like with a shimmer or something, you don't just go straight up and do blue shimmer so I think I'm gonna do this teal I'm, I think I'm gonna do teal with a shimmer or dark army green with a shimmer so next I am gonna take this teal color right here up in the corner and put the it is teal I'm not sure why the camera not picking it up as teal but I'm gonna put that color next and the pigment is pretty decent for that last color that I just used it's pretty decent you guys Being that I mixed it with that orange transition color, it is a little bit darker than what 
I wanted it to be, but that's okay. Because it's gonna match with the shimmer still. Oh, I think I'm about to be dramatic. Pop up and work with a full beat face because I'm just that extra. Yup, that's what I'm about to do. I usually only do that on Fridays, but I ain't gonna be at work on Fridays, so I guess I get a pass. I'm just so then I'm gonna pick up some of that um this shimmer right up under the teal color and then a little bit of this right here and I'm gonna mix those two on my lid. What's popping? You know what? And it's not even no really no fall though. It's like little typical little flakes kickback or whatever, but it's not nowhere near what I expected. Well, I mean the palette was twenty dollars, so it's not like I went and paid like five dollars for it, I guess. So I mean it should have had some performance, but still. I didn't know beauty creations was doing it like that, honey. Doing it. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner and it's not new so I'm probably gonna skip I'm probably gonna cut this part out of the video it's my NYX eyeliner So next, I'm going to take this concealer, this same concealer, and do my under eyes. And I'm about to tell y'all right now, if it's not enough coverage, I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution. And I'm going to blend that with that Beauty Creation sponge. No. I'm going to add some of this. Just a little bit. While that is setting, I'm going to take this Profusion Studio Contour Powder. I just realized this might be a version of my Broken Up Profusion palette that I like that I never show you guys that I contour with. And if it is, that's a good thing because that shit is broke. And I was just all over it. All over it. Okay. So I'm going to use that to contour. And I'm going to take another one of these brushes. It looks like this. And I'm going to use the darker shade in here because I think that's the only one that will work for me. I don't want to mix a little for this. Man, that's like non-existent. I haven't noticed through like most of my videos um I'm not like a super super like snatch contour kind of person I, I just don't I just like my contour to be subtle and that's how I've always been with my contour it's just the way it is and then I'm gonna take my favorite powder brush by BH Cosmetics with it's my Ray Ray and some Maybelline Fit Me which I don't have to show this part because
And then at this point, I do go ahead and set my face. So the last product I'm gonna put on is something that I added that's a new product that I'm gonna be trying. It's the Benefit Liquid Highlighter. And I actually didn't get this at that event. This was actually gifted to me by someone. So I'm gonna try it out. In the, and it's like three mini tester highlighter shades. And this one is called Sunbeam. And I never use a liquid highlight, but from my understanding, she told me to uh, dab it on my face and then pat it. So I'm just gonna put a dab and then and it. Ooh, this is pretty. This is pretty, but very, very subtle. Okay, I take the subtle part back. I just didn't put enough. Hell down. So guys, this is pretty much my finished makeup look. Um, I'm not feeling it like that. I'm not even about to lie to you. I'm not feeling my face. I don't know if the concealer didn't go with the, uh, what is it called? Actually, you know what? I need to put on this lip balm. I'm not sure if the concealer just didn't go with the powder, but I don't know. It looks very, I don't know. I don't know, but I've already sat here and did all this makeup, so I will. It's just gonna have to do. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I am pretty much late to work at this point, so I need to leave. Um, thanks so much for watching. As always, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and Follow me on my social media sites down below and I will see you guys in my next video.